On July 10, 2024, Samsung is planning to unveil two new phones, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6. The event is named Samsung Unpacked. These review listings provide us a decent sense of what the new foldable phones will look like by showing them in various colors and from various angles, even if the official launch is still a few weeks away. Some retailers are even showing the phones on their websites. Harvey Norman, an Australian retailer, reportedly posted product pages for the Fold 6 and Flip 6 too soon. These sites will probably be removed shortly, but screenshots have been collected to preserve the data for the future. Let's examine the listings in more detail. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 listings for the silver, navy, and pink hues were discovered. They displayed various storage choices and prices in Australia. Nevertheless, let's first talk about the Fold. The two new smartphones with folding displays seem to be designed in a manner reminiscent to the S24 series, with the Galaxy Z Fold 6 having particularly pointy edges that are less rounded than the previous model. Samsung is redesigning the Flip to seem more like the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both new foldable smartphones have an external display, but the Flip model has the same screen as its predecessor and has a more colorful shell. Samsung is coming out with a yellow Z Flip 6 variant for the first time, and a pink Z Fold 6 version is now available as well. Let's talk storage choices and prices now. 256 gigs of storage for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 8 gigs of RAM plus 512 gigs of storage for 2749 Australian dollars or about $1820, 2949 Australian dollars or approximately $1955 and $3299 Australian dollars or approximately $2185. There are no listings for a larger 2TB storage option, and we were unable to locate any information on the RAM for the 256GB model. The description verifies that the phone features Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the front screen and aluminum protection on the frame and hinge cover, but it doesn't disclose precise specs, so it's likely that the 2TB version doesn't exist or won't be marketed in Australia. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said, let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here, please subscribe peace out.